Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Oh, God, why can't I? To looking for a game to capture, and by that, I do mean. Rimworld! Hey! Hey, Triforce! I feel like my camera zoomed out. I don't know, but we're good. Made it just in the nick of time today. I was doing horror's hair. Took a little longer than expected, and so I got home and I was like, I have to eat. I have to make sure my computer is updated, but we did it. We made it. Made in time, baby. So I'm happy about that. I'm super stoked to get back into RimWorld because I literally had a dream about it the other night. I was going to play it on Sunday because my brother couldn't stream, and I was like, oh, great. I will use this opportunity to play um, more RimWorld. And then my internet wasn't working, so I was like, well, never mind. And I've been itching to play it since. So, we're getting into this. Let's go. I hope you're doing well too, Treforce. I'm doing pretty all right. Can't complain too much. Some gastrointestinal issues, but you know, these things happen. <laughs> Several news. All right. Hit me with them. Okay. So I did learn about... Last time we had our... We had a, a visitor, uh, something craven, visceral craven. Um, they came through absolutely delightful um, and was telling me about this. So we got to go punch it some more. I don't, I'm not going to start out with dealing with that, but we got to punch that. Uh, we're having an eclipse. That's fine. A little bit of a bummer, but like fine because we actually do have solar panels now some good some bad some weird and some creative okay i like the variety gosh we have so many muffalos not complaining we just have a lot okay yeah we got some stuff set up that this is gonna probably run out of power before the end of the eclipse but that's fine I feel like I have something in my teeth, but like I haven't been able to check it. You guys would tell me, right? Please tell me you'd tell me. Okay. Uh, right, Tony lost, lost an eye last time. We have our wall built. That's excellent. I might change this wall to be the open wall. Um... Because it is nice when the raiders come through and, like, get hit by other things. Like, other things take care of them before me. So, and there's more opportunity in this area, so I might do that, actually. I think this is a smaller area for sure, but... I think that might be what I do. put a door there why didn't I just make that a wall I guess that so I could just kind of hop in here maybe was my thought I don't know I'm just gonna put like another thing of fence around just so I am good with the animals and then um, then we'll go from there and then you know what I have options I can so have either that one open or this one open Okay, I would like a granite fence, fence, please. Boop. Where are thrombos? A small herd of thrombos have wandered into the area. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous. Oh yeah, I remember these. Are uh, truly dangerous when confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Trembles will leave the area in a few days. I'm not going to attack them. I'm not going to do that right now. But I will look at them. Okay, the good news. That was at the hospital for checkups yesterday. He's taking so well to the treatment that he is very likely to end up cancer free in the future. That's excellent news, Treforce. Bad news, he currently has depression. Uh, 
mean, like, I don't want to be like, eh, depression, because, like, I got it. I get it. It ain't fun. It ain't good. It's a serious thing. But, handleable. Weird news. Handleable with the right tools and support system. Uh, the weird news, I ended up only having to do two weeks of the mandatory unpaid internship instead of the four weeks. Technically three to this week. The job location is close for a break. Ooh, nice. Uh, not door. Not granite fence. Identical thing already exists here. Oh, right, because I want the gate. There we go. Okay. I don't remember if they're going to automatically get rid of that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Everybody's awake, but it's dark. Yeah, we got a lot done last time. Because we got this whole thing finished up. We finally transferred Medi over here. Although now he needs to go outside sometimes because... That was how he was getting his outside time. He was going to and from. Yeah, that forge pulled a lot of power, which I would expect, but. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer because those lights are going to go out, but. It is what it is. The reason it was cut short is because a temp worker there apparently complained about me saying and touching her in an inappropriate fashion. And I honestly have no idea or recollection of ever doing anything like that. Ooh, dude. Like, I, I believe you. That's... That sucks, though, to have those kind of things thrown at you. Because, like, if there was something that was an issue, and, like, you just don't know, then, like, that doesn't help you fix anything for the future. Or, this is a lie, <laughs> and a very damaging one, and what the hell. Very sorry to hear that. Megley is carrying potatoes, living the dream. Selling rice. Okay, he's going to the... He, he was just picking up some potatoes on the way. I respect it. Medi is great mood. Which passive cooler are you refueling? This one? Don't worry about this one, dude. Uh, you, don't, you also don't have to automatic refuel that. I'm sure I had other plans for things and stuff, but I don't exactly remember, but they'll come to me. Hey, Spiffles! Welcome! In Tra Traforce, I believe you. That's a shitty position to be in. I'm so sorry, dude. But yeah, Sniffles, we're finally able to get back to RimWorld. I say as if, like, this isn't the normal time I play RimWorld, but... I wanted to play it! I have a hangnail. I don't have a hangnail anymore. That's not the proper way to take care of a hangnail. Don't do it that way. It usually just makes the problem worse. But I'm human, okay? What am I doing? I'm just like... Moving around the map. Eclipse. I should probably actually do some of these, huh? I'm not ready to form a caravan. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I definitely learned about the man-hunting animals. Mm, 
there are two types of genes, scrimlin genes that are passed on to children, while xenogenes are not and must be implanted using xenogerms. View a person's genes by opening their bio. Okay, I'm gonna mark that as learned, I guess. I don't know. You can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Note that this isn't a door lock. Doors are always locked, so enemies can't pass freely. Forbidding just directs your colonists to not use the door. Colonists who are going crazy might use the door anyway. Okay. So how would I... I'm not going to forbid anybody, but like, how would I do that then? It just says I could. Whatever. Doors are open at different speeds depending on what they're made of. Oh, storm doors open very slowly. Anyone passing through will be significantly slowed down. Interesting. But they won't burn. Uh, one of the days it's been raining a lot, so there was a lot of piles outside. We all did some outdoor yoga with the children. Mm. Trying to make conversation with the rainy weather. Oh, hey, Haver. Intercourse Haver. <laughs> allow button or F. Oh, yeah, allow. I just wasn't sure for like specific ones. Because that's what the learning helper said, but I'm not actually trying to do that. So if I don't learn it, that's fine. The learning helper just didn't help me. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Okay, cool. We have this one now. Oh, this is Lullaby. Hey, bud. Having a good time? Yeah, I think I'm going to close this door. Medi, can you just like walk through this door real quick? So it'll close. I'm gonna open this door. <laughs> we'll buy you left and came back. Oh, Chocolata! What are you doing out there, bud? Clear dress is wet, and now I had to dry. I was wondering with how hot <laughs> she is, I should dry quickly. I could definitely see how that could be taken the wrong way. But when it is that hot outside, it would dry quick. Uh, did you do? Okay. You can come back, Muddy. Oh, those do close super slow. I never noticed. Uh, okay. And then Tony, since you are right here. Oh. You're about to go through the door anyway. Perfect. That works out great. Alright, May's gonna go back to researching. Tony's being Tony. What's up, Kazov? What's wrong, bud? Slept in the cold. It's dark. It's an eclipse. Sorry, buddy. Insulted. Oh, was that from your fight with... Was it Smegly last time? I think the first fight was with Tony. I'm just naturally unhappy. Okay, so... He's fine. <laughs> hey, Godzilla! Godzilla, I love your, your creative uh, ways around Haver's name. <laughs> yeah, in case I'm in the creative news, I've joined Pirate Software's 15 Game Jam. Ooh, nice. Hey, Goat Maven. I've only recently learned about Pirate Software, but, like, he seems really cool. I've really, like, I haven't dove into his, like, full like length videos, but I've been watch like I've binged his shorts and like he just seems really cool. I 
I wonder what the odds are that I'll be able to get another colonist today. All I know is that I can never count on anything in this game. Okay, good. So that's open. That's where people will funnel in. Oh, that was from the raider last time, right? Okay. Okay, Maddie's going to go to sleep. Don't expect to win or anything, but it could be an interesting way to learn how to make the game I want to make. Absolutely. Just because, like, you might not win, like, the, the main, like, prize or whatever doesn't mean you're not winning. You know? Winning personally. Okay, Castle's eating. Yeah, that's right, I had a med bay made. <laughs> With an actual little medicine thing, where the medicine's close. Maybe we should form a caravan though. Maybe we should do this. Maybe we should go to like, maybe we should go to the big boy map and travel. But I only have four colonists. I don't want to lose anybody. Man. I got those guys. I guess I could go punch this. Uh, okay. Kazov. It's just, it has like 3,000 health. Let's just get, get some more health off of it. Tony isn't in the best mood. No, we'll just, we'll just let Kazov hit the thing for a while. Well, he'll leave one guy. This Megley moves pretty slow though. For good reason. My God, you're cleaning? Tony, my man. I guess I need to tell him to come over here. I just drafted him in. Oh, no, he's on his way. Okay. If you guys could uh, keep working on that. But the aces. I want to see what little robot I can get from it. Well, jam. Ooh, actually, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going too quick. You're going too quick. I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe we are going to do this now. You want to know how to hunt the rumbo? Sure. I probably won't be brave enough to do that, but it's a little complicated, though. So I probably almost definitely won't be doing it yet, but you could definitely tell you can still tell me. And then I can like let that information marinate. Oh, oh, oh. Uh Kazov, get over there. Uh Tony. Get out get out of there. A mechanoid transponder has been left behind after an explosion. It can be decrypted at a research bench. Switch so colonists and right-click to decrypt it. Dude! But it's fire. Yeah, you guys have a snack. And then I think I'll just let this burn oh okay it, it's going out it's going out <laughs> now the theme for the game jam is shadows and alchemy and since my main game is about light bulbs having shadows be one of the themes is promising oh yeah i like that Build a long wooden wall perpendicular to a mountain face. 
with a door at its base, which would be there. I'm just trying to like envision it as you explain while this fire does the fire thing. Putting this out individually is going to take a while. I don't have like the that fire stuff. I guess I'll just let it burn. How long is the ground going to be affected by that though? Whatever, not my problem right now. Okay, so at my my imagined base door. Have a college pull. One thrombo. And shoot it until it gets close. So one out here. Shoot until it gets close. Run through the door. Close it. Hunting through was this easy shoot until it's dead. <laughs> well, I don't have a hunter. Or great guns. But that is the straightforward answer. True. The thermal will have to run all the way around where Collins keep shooting him for free and then just repeat that like 20 times. Ah, yeah, I don't, well, I mean, maybe. I was gonna say, I don't think I'll have the patience for that today, but like that, that could change. But that's, those are good tips. If I feel bold enough today, then I might just do that. Kaz, is that a minor break risk? Yeah, well. Uh, actually, Kazov, you don't have to worry about that. Lau, Medi. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Kazov, don't worry about that. Oh, okay, you're gonna haul it? Cool, cool, cool. Oh, the ancient survival game tradition of chasing monster hunting by building weird structures. It's good advice, yeah. <laughs> I need to build another solar panel. It's taking up a lot of power. I mean, as expected. I guess I could just get another battery, huh? If I just put it here, I don't know if it needs to, I think it'll automatically connect there. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Wait, where'd you put the mechanism, Kazov? I wasn't looking. Probably in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. When Medi wakes up, I'll get him on that. heads up thrombos don't hang around for very long i have gotten them one other time i know it's probably what is going on i know it's probably um oh is it because it's so it doesn't call it and if you flick the switch i think we'll actually happen to look on this okay any time for that battery to charge back up yeah I don't know how often they do appear but I have gotten them one other time could just be lucky but and property is under siege by an army of killer slugs oh no it appear my power grid is not totally connected uh, is that what that means I wasn't having that problem before. Hmm. 
There's going on the left. Battery is made fully charged. These ones were? This one? Yeah, this one isn't powering anything. It needs to recharge. I'm asking a lot of this guy. The power grid is iconic. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I'm just kind of laying things down and just kind of kind of going for it. Uh, there, there isn't the, the best, um, <laughs> not, not the slickest planning. Oh, the slugs have eaten all the bean plants. That does suck. Really should connect those two batteries. The two that are built or this one and the one I want built. I guess, yeah, because that does never. Make all the blue lines touch. Okay. We'll do that. Like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and the deer is doing the strawberries. Oh. Ooh, that'd be cool if that works. Putting copper tape around garden beds to repel slugs. A group of Yutakan? Sure. From family Wakbuku have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. You're attacking up there! You're supposed to attack down there! You're supposed to funnel down to the open door! Maybe because that gate's closed, that counts as not being open. I knew there was a chance of that, so. That's okay. Jess. Tell me about yourself, Jess. Drifter? With a poor quality steel knife. Oh, cool, a misogynist. Oh, good shooter, though. And my colony is entirely boys. I'm sorry, men. Incapable of animals firefighting and being artistic? That's fine. Animal war call. With a powerful, powerful bellow and psychic connection, call an animal to fight your enemies for a few hours. Ooh. Dude. Duration of 12 hours? 15 day cooldown though, that makes sense. Fast learner. But <laughs> he's incapable of animals. <laughs> what sense does that make? None. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of see how this goes. If we can take Jess on and like not kill him, that'd be good. Uh, Tony, could you just like, oh, I'll come here at first and then we'll go from there. <laughs> you can throw a stick in. Yell and fetch, and you'll fetch, but doesn't know it's just gave the order to a beaver. <laughs> oh, it's a boom rat. <sighs> I was like, I thought I, all I thought I just ha had was a shitty knife. <laughs> I thought he was hiding something. It was my boob rat. Is that Chocolata? 
Oh, it's Otto! Aww. Dude. I hope you... Ugh, not that injured. Hmm. Bummer. Oh, yeah. Beaten to death! Fuck you, Jess. Jess, I think you're a meanie. Okay, good. I was about to ask Tony, how are you missing? But, like, Tony is missing an eye. So, like, fair enough. Tony, get out of there, bud. Get out of there! Okay, well... Don't you kidnap Tony! Kazov? Kazov, you get there! Would be fitting, though. His lover got kidnapped. Kazov, I swear to God! We need Tony! He's our surgeon! One thing at a time. <laughs> Best use for boomerang TV, yeah. It's almost like they're built to blow up. This is kind of dodging, actually. Running forward is exact. That's true. Okay. Well, where where is this? Okay. I don't think I can get in, so we should be okay. Okay. Um. Okay, properly dead. Okay. You're not a survivor anymore, Jess. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Okay, um... Rescue Tony, please. Nine hours. Eight hours. Ooh, that's not good. Carry him faster! Faster, Kazza, faster! Minor break risk, Kazov? Yeah, well, Tony's at a death risk, so. I wanna hear it. I should put another door to the. Med how did the wolf get in? I thought the doors were supposed to stop it. Why is the wolf in the house again? <laughs> I hate these wolves. Why? Oh my god. Everything happens so much, holy shit. <laughs> this is why you send all of your colonists for defense, but like I've done that before, and then that's backfired. Forbidden puppy. <laughs> oh my god. You don't say. Well, Smiley's got 14 hours, so. I'm gonna take Kazov out. Oh my god. Stop going up. Kazov? Unfortunately, deselect prioritize work. Do not flee. Yeah, well, it's attacking anyway, so... Just do something. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> wolves in Med Bay. <laughs> the wolves in at the hospital. <laughs> Um. One second. Don't flee. Rescue Tony. Yes, get the dog outside. Where did that fire come from? Uh, okay, hang on. <sighs> Let me just make sure, okay. Maddie, I really need you to attend to Tony. Kazov's down. Did after everyone kill that damn thing? Last time this happened, everybody died. And they had to go to a previous autosave. <laughs> Hospital, so it's what we're gonna do next. <laughs> oh, keep calm and hydrate. Okay, I'll do that. Hey, Lemon Bobbles, welcome. What's the situation? Well, there was a raider which downed our surgeon, uh, and then a wolf happened, and I don't know how it got in because I was under the impression that my walls and gates and things wouldn't let in animals willy-nilly. I was wrong. So there was a wolf at the house and then in the hospital. So we're, we're doing. <laughs> I didn't drop her one kill the damn thing. I, dr I tried that last time. I tried that last time it didn't work. <laughs> That's the wolf's room now. <laughs> it really is. Hawk, it does not seem good. Door forest for sandal sneeze doors. I don't know how it works in this game. Apparently, they can. I knew, like, the tame ones could, but... Leave Kazov alone. He's downed. <laughs> he doesn't have much time. Remember that thing I was saying? How, like, I was thinking maybe we could possibly get a fifth colonist this time? We might be losing another colonist. So we might be back down to three. Okay, um, Tony still needs a little bit of attention, but Kazov right now is, but the wolf's right there! Just tend to Tony. I thought the wolf was still there, and I was like, did lightning destroy the wolf? <sighs> That's his own type of aggressive animals. Mm. Even walls and doors? Oh, but this wall's, there's the fence, but this door is open. Cause I need one open for this bullshit. Sorry, Kazov. He hated it here anyway. I <laughs> like McLivy up there going Dr. Skill. Got enough. He's got enough to get our doctor patched back up. Um, okay. I do need him to tend to Tony now. Or Smegly. Now that Tony is stabilized. I mean, not looking good, but stable. 
Yeah, I have the medicine all the way over in the med bay because, like, wow, I wanted a med bay. <laughs> hey, birthday boy. First few clo closed doors. This is the one I had opened to funnel raiders in there, but then the raider showed up over here anyway. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, well. Oh, no, wait. That is the tab I want to open. <sighs> Sorry, Kazov. You were very helpful. I don't love losing you. It does make me very sad. But once again, you did hate it here. You were constantly upset. You were picking fights. Thank you for going out a real one, though. You distracted that wolf. You got that wolf out here. And out of the goddamn house. <laughs> Rares can spot at any edge, but will path through the open door if it's successful. Oh. So if they... Let me make sure Smike lays. Okay, yeah, it's maybe stabilized. Um, so, like, if they spawn at, like, an edge up here, like, if, like, when that's closed, if they spawned up there, do they just, like, hang out there until they leave, or... Rip Kazov today's MVP? Yeah, honestly. Kazov sacrificed himself for us. And probably to get himself out of here. He was over the wolf attacks. <laughs> wolf attack because the raider used his animal oh the raider used the war cry oh the one that i saw I was like oh that's sick it's not sick when it's used against me they'll dig their way in uh yeah that blows me used against me don't love that um Only burned. Mm, don't think I have a gun for Medi. Is there one of even semi decent? Smiley's gotten sick from infection. The infection is left foot. Make sure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Smiley gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. I do have a medical bed. Uh, but my doctor is incapacitated. Smiley. Only get new pants. Oh, Kazov was her tailor. I'm aware Colin is left unburied, but like right now, there's a wolf. Unhappy nudity. <laughs> you didn't have to take the pants off first. You could have gotten the new pants. Okay, well, it's a minor infection. Oh, but... Why did you take that route? Smegly! Dragon's pregnant. Good night, Trap Horse. It's all down the many now. Three medical. Wow. <laughs> I 
Nay, stop playing billiards and rescue Smegly again, please. I don't know what to do about this. Will he eventually just leave? Do I have to attend to this at some point? Well, that's kind of nice. Hemogen packs. Hello? Packs are find hemogen in a specialized container that prevents spoilage. Hemogenic humans can consume it to restore their oh, their internal hemogen stores can be administered via an operation to reverse blood loss. Very helpful if my surgeon wasn't because I have a feeling it's probably not. Watch him walk right into that wolf. What, Smegly? I didn't, I wasn't looking at this area of the screen and didn't see him going that way. I was like, oh, he'll go this way. He did not. Nettie, get up. I'm sure you're tired, but like, people need tending to. <laughs> Real bad. That's for vampires. <laughs> oh, shoot, free blood. That will be nice to have on hand, though. He's got some construction, some mining. Don't love it, he's a wimp and delicate. Just because we don't have any colonists and like, clearly I have trouble with uh, keeping them alive, so. Yes, I'm aware. I was hoping he would do like at least a little more damage to the timber wolf so it would start bleeding out but <sighs> no such luck it just has some surface burns <laughs> let's try taming it I genuinely don't know what to do about this. Life expectancy, 12. You shouldn't be aggressive anymore now that I took a nap. If only. I had to tell someone what happened to the crew here. Remember that time a wolf came into the house? Oh, you're serious? Oh. Cause if it's just a, if it's just chillin'. I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, Ronan, uh, Kazov's dead. Yeah, Drifter with a wolf attack ability. The, like, Call of the Wild or whatever. There was somebody that came in up here, and I was like, uh-uh, you're not gonna raid, Jess. And then it used the, the freaking this animal war call. And then it, it, it spawned a, or made a, a, a wolf angry and came in. And uh, 
Yeah, Jess took took Tony down. Uh, and then we were able to get in here, and then that's when I saw the wolf tackling Smegly, and I was like, well, this isn't good, it's in the house. Uh, starvation, Tony needs food. Okay, Nettie. Feed Tony. Um, and then Kazov, I was like, just get it, get the wolf do bleeding or something, and then Kazov, Kazov at least lured the wolf out here. At least Sniffles isn't here to see Smegly hurt. <laughs> I mean, we, we got Smegly restabilized. We got Tony stabilized. There, it's gonna be another long health rebound, but I believe in them. They've done it before. Oh, Tony, can you like? Many got food poisoning! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, Tony's recreation's going down. Is he the last survivor of the original crash? Yeah, he sure is. He sure is. Yeah, Stiffles is around. I don't know what to do about his infection. Not my problem. Because of the good shit. I don't have any. Ooh, wait. Just drop some. Tony's up! Tony's up! Kind of. I mean, his, his little his little dude is standing. So that's something. How long do we have in, for that infection? Can we take him five hours? Okay. Move faster, Medi! I know you only have one leg, but if you could move a little quicker, that would be fantastic. What hunter? Oh, Tony, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Tony, buddy. Um. Medi, what? Medi! Get the damn health packs! Are you kidding, dude? If Tony wants to play horseshoes, Tony can play horseshoes. What happened? What happened? Oh, the food poisoning. Tony, I hate to ask this of you. Can you please 
get the medicine. <laughs> Medi's fine. And like, Medi's not fine, but like, he's just down. I, I don't see anything that'll make him die. Gastrointestinal illness caused by consuming decayed or unclean food. It can be caused by eating rotten food, by incompetent cooks, accidentally poisoned meals, or by eating from unsafe wild sources. The patient will vomit and feel sick for some time. So yeah, I mean, like, it's gonna affect him for sure, but, like, I don't... I don't see anything indicating that he's gonna die. So... If he's gotta crawl, he's gotta crawl. to clipping that and then haul that medicine <sighs> if we can get it back there in time nope oh I can tend it now Megli, Brick, Gris. Okay. Tony's on his way back. But Smegly's up. I'm watching that wolf. I know you say he's probably fine, but I don't I don't trust. Stop. Okay. <sighs> Medi's fine. He's making his way downtown. He's gonna eat. I'll let him eat and then I'll have him. Have him do that. And I'll have Tony give him medicine. I should put a door here. How's it going, Medi? <laughs> I do feel bad for you, dude. I do. I think this is the worst mood I've ever seen him in. Okay, can you tend... Can you use this? Give industrial checker worse. Oh, okay. The worst would be the. We don't have the best quality, but we do have this. Wait. No. Oh. Okay. Boy, they. When I started this out, like, oh, it's, it's, it's so slow. Should have known. It's like saying the Q word if you're a nurse in the hospital. 
or in any profession really. I hope this is helping with that. Okay, okay. 10 quality, 50%, okay. For now, since Medi is gonna be going into the bed, just herbal medicine or worse, just cause I wanna make sure that Smegly gets this medicine. How are you doing now? <laughs> Medi's fine. He's fine. He'll, he'll make it to bed. And like, he's in real rough shape, but like, he's gonna be fine. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Well, at some point, we're gonna need another grave. Mm, we don't have viable soil there. I guess we can go there. I'm aware Smegley's in rough shape. dream. Cool, cool, cool. I can't tend him again for nine more hours. So we'll see how this goes. I do also need Tony to take care of himself. Ooh, and cook, actually. That is really important. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. I would love to get him buried, but like right now, I gotta focus on the living. I'm like trying to just like... <laughs> I don't want to miss my- oh god. Can I just amputate? His immunity is at 86.5. It's, it's climbing pretty quick. But it's at 92. This is like a race to the finish. You can? How? I assume I need something that I don't have. In the operations tab. Where? Snakely Health Operations. Oh. Oh. Would that work? Oh, uh, I don't have what I need to amputate. Oh no, I just need one of those. Oh my god, do I do it? Okay. 
Okay. I'm doing it. Tony? Tony, okay, wake up, buddy. Smegly cannot walk. No! No! I was trying. Man. <sighs> that sucks. I thought I had been pausing the game. I've been pausing the game a lot. Well, I don't want want to jump back to the save again, and we still have two colonists. <sighs> All right. I want to put him right there next to his sister. and go go there damn what a bummer hey you know we've come back we've come back from things we can we can do it again Man, Smegly's like an extra bummer, dude. He was, he was our last original. Rescue of Sale. Gage, Prime Counselor of Essler, says that her friend has been wounded while traveling. The victim of Sale, a 50-year-old tournament fighter. Gage has nobody to bear to rescue Sale, but says that if you can make it to Sale's position and rescue him, he will join you. Gage says there may be an unknown threat. We could use someone else. A fighter and a genie. Designed to be engineers, genies have natural aptitude with machines and are emotionally cold and calm. They're also fragile and vulnerable to pain. Maybe too fragile people focus on machines they often come off as socially inept uh luckily no hawk uh Medi's skill isn't good but tony's is tony is a surgeon he's a criminal surgeon medical seven so so tony is pretty skilled and then Medi has like the the research, the intelligence and stuff, so um they're two good ones to have for sure. Which is why I'm thinking we might be able to still bounce back from this. Uh, okay, you can have anything. We'll see how this goes. Damn. Those were Smegly's pants. If you freeze, Smegly might be able to bring him back one day, but don't count it. Mmm. 
<laughs> Every male colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. Some distant engine of, engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a psychic drone onto the site through an orbital amplifier tuned to only affect males. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit worse. The drone level is low. At least the level's low. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, get a freezer and stuff in time anyway for him. I might just... I might just have to let him go. Good to know for future, though. Absolutely. Medi's in a pretty good mood, though, all things considered. Yeah, I don't love that either. Um, Medi... When you're done eating, could you, um, Kazov has been, oh, right, we need to, you could work on those, please, when you're done eating, so we can get these guys buried. Kazov's been out here for a long time. And understandably, it's just going to keep upsetting them until they're buried. Nothing I need to attend to. My boys are who I need to attend to. Tony and Medi. Oh, I got some wool. <laughs> Smegly with her animal handler. Oh, it's Medi working. <laughs> I was like, what's that sound? Who's digging at my door? Okay, when you're done eating that, could you... Hey, wolf. Um, Barry Kazov. No, not, not in that grave. Not in that grave. Um, that grave goes to Smegly. It's important to me that Smegly is close to his sister, you know? I'm sorry, Kazov, that you have to wait again. <sighs> huh. No, Maddie, don't research. Please continue the grave. And then... Please bury Kazov, and then you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want for a little bit after that. I just need these bodies in the ground. Tugboat's pregnant! <laughs> Hoi! At least we don't have any like big projects we're working on that need a lot of hands for. Sleep well, everyone. Come on. Yeah, I guess that can just be an extra bed, huh? Guess I'll make that one not medical anymore? Doesn't really matter.
Yeah, I'd like to fix that, but like, uh, you know, things got a little sidetracked. Other things took priority. Tony is starving. Tony get food. Oh God. <laughs> Tony's got food poisoning. Cause someone incompetent cooked it. <laughs> Welcome back, Ronan. Yeah. Smetty, we lost Smetty to the infection. Uh, mortars. I forgot we were researching that. Okay, what do we want our next research project to be? Hmm, vaccine. Tenozylocene. A disease prevention drug which blocks plague, malaria, and more before they start. How about uh, antibiotics? Just throw that out there. Sterile materials. Make clean rooms for safer, more effective medical treatment, research, and cooking. That seems useful. I don't know what I'll need for a sterile tile, but it seems like a useful thing to be able to make. Does it prevent wolves? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> we can recover. We've recovered before. Um, I choose to believe that we can recover again. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> lullaby. Because <laughs> of lack of taming maintenance, lullaby is returned to the wild. Damn. Well. That's fine. It's probably for the better. Nice park placement. We do have medicine. Yeah, we have... We only have a little bit of, like, the good medicine, but we have 32, like, herbal medicine. So... We do have that. And then all of this growing is um, heal root, which can be turned into medicine. Cutie pie gave birth. To alpaca too. What's your name gonna be, little buddy? Bimbo? Yeah. Cutie Pie's baby is Bimbo. Fingers crossed then, yeah. But you know what? Even if it does end with these two, which I hope it won't. I hope we continue on. Even if it does end with these two. For my very first colony in this game... I feel like that's pretty good. And don't worry, we would be starting another colony if something happens to them, but... Have a good dinner, Godzilla. I'm just thinking to the future. I'm trying to find- I'm trying to be a silver lining. <laughs> oh god, I missed things. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> I know, Smegly's gone. Oh, the sky just friggin' opened up. IRL. Yeah, hopefully we won't lose these guys too. But if we do, I'm trying to feel better about it. Again, my very first colony. We can start anew. Maybe I won't lose my researcher immediately. You know. Cutie Pie's already pregnant again? Dude. Cutie Pie is popular. <laughs> Anywho, be back later. <laughs> 
Well, all right. I guess we'll just let these guys cope. Also, I'm freaking chilly, dude. Can I reach my sweater from here? Since I am unfortunately bound by a wire. Excellent news. Major break risk? Yeah, well. We've been through some things. Hunter lacks suitable weapon? Really? Oh, I guess he dropped it. <laughs> the food boys ain't got him. This place is a mess. Tony's back to being able to walk. Tony's having a tantrum. He'll smash up random furniture, items, and structures. It's happening because of poor moods. The final straw was malnourished. Cool. Cool. We got blood. We got vomit. We got... I'm pretty sure there are animal feces here. Or animal filth. We can't tell Tony to do anything right now, so. When you're done having that tantrum, you're gonna have to repair those. Oh, that was much shorter tantrum than I expected. I, I'm more used to like the, the long, um, Uh, I saw your title. Good to know you're dreaming about Room World. Got him. I, I literally the other night had a dream about Room World. I don't really remember much of it, but like, yeah, I'm fully hooked. No, if you're not gonna eat right now. We, we, we've got to, we've got to clean this place up, dude. Some of these orders might be redundant, but like, I don't care. Not many games have that power, truly. Okay, all things considered, they're not in terrible moods. They're not in the best of spirits, but like, not too bad. Yeah. Tony's other half sibling died with Smegly. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they'll have another one. They need intercourse. I don't. I don't think they're gay or bi. You know, we don't need this much food right now we don't need to keep this at 20. we'll put it at 15 just to be extra safe but um yeah easy fix with some mods if that's what you're into i mean if we'll put him in a better mood oh to speaking of better moods Look at Tony. Oh, because of the catharsis, right, right, right. 
All right, fair enough. What the heck? What's that? Oh, building rubble. Yeah, I want you to rest up first, but like also, can you repair the things you broke? I want to keep in the closest eye. I'm not sure what else he got, but. Oh, that one too. Okay. Yeah, when you're done resting, if you could do that. Oh, and I need Medi to um, decrypt the mechanoid transponder. And at some point, I need this to be finished being built, but... Hey. Hoping for a Roomba. Cold snap? Uh, they've got parkas. They should be okay. Cold snaps can quickly kill by hypothermia. Be sure to build a heated space to survive. Wear appropriate apparel and try to harvest crops before they freeze and die. Uh -huh. I would like this heal root, please. Just, uh... Smiley put a lot of work into this. Can we... Harvest all that real quick. I'm not a sign of plant cutting. You're about to be. pregnant good job angry oh i guess i did tell tony to only do the one medi's going for a walk okay they he did do a lot of cleaning today although our area please mm, okay we need heaters i might just put a couple fire pits around, or campfires around. Don't seem to do a decent job. We'll put our campfire back there. We need not enough in storage. Dude. We go through wood so quick. have a decent amount of storage though, so we should be okay because of rice potato and hay grass but it looks like the heel root doesn't so that's that's good very good news knockout gate birth mm. that's bimbo Paco. Chocolate is still there. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll find. We'll find the baby eventually. <laughs> or is Knockout uh, one of the Mufflos? Level Calf 3? Dude. Blubber? Sure. Muffalo Calf 1? Nutty? Yeah. Uh, bazooka, Ritz. 
Ah, here's two. Count down the days until a truce expires and back to war. <laughs> oh yeah, how are the twins? That's the type of parent I, I'd be. We'll find the baby eventually. <laughs> Ooh, Queen Bee. Skyrocket. I think that's all the ones that aren't named. I wouldn't. Oh, alpaca one. Dreamer. Oh, somebody else is about to be pregnant. I believe Tugboat is currently pregnant. Okay. That was lullaby. So the father I was playing has died and I took over the elder brother to Raz and BCC. Raz took over a petty kingdom and BCC took over a petty kingdom due to succession. I went to war with BCC within seconds. Took my land back. <laughs> nice. What game are you playing? They are now my vassals. <laughs> Crusader Kings 3, okay. Tony, could you... Well, how, how, how are you feeling? About the cold. Not terrible. I mean, like, I know it's not comfortable, but... They're... Don't seem to be feeling terrible. What is this? What's the temperature rating for this? These parkas. I think it's okay. I mean, like it would be better with better stuff, but I, th I think they're okay. Tony's gonna work on harvesting the heal root. I'm fine with that. Medi. Would you harvest these, please? We need the wood so we can make some fires. That way y'all don't freeze. Uh, okay, this... is Tony's bed. This is Medi's bed. So these should be unclaimed now. I'm going to toggle the automatic refuel on the torches so that way they hopefully don't get too cold when they sleep. Good job, boys. This is my kind of nerd shit. I'm not amazing at the game, but I'm having fun. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's about. A taper wolf was hunting Ritz, one of my muffalos for food. I hate that. I cannot do anything about that right now. I'm not in a position where I can uh oh gosh that sucks. Um where I, I can risk either of these guys. Oh look at that go. We're gonna have so much batteries. So much batteries? Sure. I like going chairs now. 
Although, Tony, I'd rather you prioritize on these. Like, I'd like you to finish what you're working on, but... Oh, they're saying hi. I guess... I'll just have Medi do it. Chocolata's giving birth. Chocolata? Oh, to two of them. Okay. Uh, Alright, Chocolata, what's... I feel like it needs to be chocolate themed, you know? Or like chocolate adjacent, or maybe like beverage. Grumpus! Oh, that was good though. You know what? Cashew. And this is gonna be peanut. Cause those go good in chocolate. There are a lot of things that go good in chocolate, but for now we'll stick with the, the nut theme or nut adjacent. Good job, Mama Chocolata. Yeah, you rot, Jess. We got a fire going. That's good. We don't have this one going, but... I, mean, I feel like this would produce heat, no? I mean, I don't think it does, but... Okay. Mm. Package survival meal sounds really good. Firefoam does feel like something that would be good to have on hand. Oh, medicine production! Neutroamine. But it would be really nice to have better medicine. Precision rifling. Precisely machined guns, like assault rifles, and rifles, and sniper rifles. Ooh, that'd be nice too. We'll we'll do the we'll do the fire foam first. We'll do the fire foam first. How much wood do we have now stored? None stored. Fifty five stored. I was incorrect. Uh, actually, Medi, could you decrypt this, please? Yeah, I kind of know about this. Uh, I've kind of figured those out. Sort of. I don't like the placement of that. Cancel that one. Okay, it's lasted 1.2 days, but we don't know how long it's going to last beyond that. Okay. You have decrypted an ancient transponder, revealing the location of a mechanoid ship in orbit. The ship is basically badly damaged, but you can signal it to land nearby. 
The ship contains the remains of a long-dead mechanator. Mechanators can create and control mechanoids for work in combat. By extracting the deceased mechanator's mech link, you can turn one of your own colonists into a mechanator. Beware, the ship also contains hostile mechanoids. The mechanoid group is composed of one scorcher. It doesn't look like the quest expires. Oh, no, it's just starting it now. Okay, that's... Fine. This was a good choice on my part. What if I just leave it? Got a lot of heat armor, but it's real cold. Mechanator ship containing feral mechanoids is crashed nearby. The mechanoids will exit the crash ship and prepare to fight. I wish I hadn't triggered that. Dear travelers from Essler, be careful, y'all. Let's see how this plays out. This might solve itself. Hmm, it's not frozen. Hopefully they'll make it to us, but like it'd be real nice if they could just like take care of stuff, you know? If my problems could solve themselves. Okay, so I guess it's on the way. Well, not really. I want to see how this plays out. He's going this way. You're not attacking the colony if you're attacking the ones from Essler. Hello? Are you going for Braz? Oh, you went for Braz! Link's Revenge! Oh no! B! Oh, Braz! Oh no! Navy Tech! Pete's hurt. Bianca, Bianca's doing okay. Oh, hi, Mark. Give Haley a break. I mean, I did accidentally. Yeah! Let's go, Bianca and Mark! Let's go, Esler! Okay, hang on. Oh, no, Brass is super on fire. He sure is. Um, good thing none of these people are actually part of my colony, nor do I know these people. But they have helped solve one of my problems for me, so shout out. The crash ship contains the corpse of the ancient mechanator. Extract this mech leak by selecting colonists and right-clicking the corpse. Cool. Uh, hey, Medi. Would you mind getting that mech link? Now what are these guys going to do? Are you still going to come by the colony? Are y'all going to help Brass? Brass is alive. Hey Tony, could you... Rescue Brass? They're leaving Braz! Oh. Braz died. I tried. Too bad there's no normal way to recruit people, honestly. 
I was real fortunate with Tony because Tony just like wandered in. Well, he wandered in because the game was being kind to me. Fresh rose, he was just on fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more stuff is dying because it's cold. <laughs> Y'all saying hi to llamas? Or alpacas? Or are we saying hi to each other? Y'all want like a, a hot meal or something? When, do you want to come to the camp or something? Can I help these people? Hypothermia. Pete's got hypothermia. And Bianca. Do y'all want to come inside? Y'all just gonna bounce? Where are you going? Do you guys want to join the colony? The both of yous? Uh, did we get the thing? I was a little distracted. I didn't, uh... Okay, come morning. I don't want to install right away. I will haul, though. But I want to let him sleep. Tony's content. When it's outsider's death. Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess that makes sense that that would upset him. Yeah. Man, if half sibling, I wonder if like the game makes a difference between like half sibling and whole sibling as far as like the morning time. I guess maybe morning intensity, intensity, because it expires in twenty six days, which is a long time in this game. But it's only a minus five. I don't know. The animals are awake. Muddy, what, what's up with you, bud? Oh, you're hungry. That's your that's your main issue, which, fair enough. Observed a rotting corpse, yeah. Well, you know, you're going to observe it again not long after this. Your friend Kazov died. Oh, that's true. You're the only other person in the colony that Kazov hadn't gotten into a... A fight with so you guys probably were friends Phew. six degrees celsius indoors yeah. i mean like super cold for being inside but like that's not that's handleable in these sorts of situations i would hate that if that was my home but hard snow oh like it's snowing hard the snow is not hard uh, so it reduces the actually of range weapon six languages fire and slows people down that makes sense bimbo how's it going Fifi just hanging out just just being your little Fifi self Cashew. Fuck you, Jess. Okay, yeah, Maddie's gonna get some food. Maddie, before you do that. Oh, we got some food rotting away. That's okay. Could you haul this mech link, please? Please and thank you.
You're gonna be upset to see the body again, but like, look, it is what it is. I'm gonna do that after researching. Okay, I must have shift clicked. That's fine. one's gonna finish expiring in 1.7 days so that that'll be good who knows if that's ever gonna go away probably not 11 hours he's more upset about eating without a table than he is about witnessing an outsider's death Anyway, what do we do here? Oh, the cold snap's over. Nice. Just weapon? Oh, break it down on useful resources. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Zero to fifty two hit points. Do forever. I think I'm doing this right. Cause we got a lot of garbage weapons just lying around. Okay, Medi, you have zero relevant skills, but you do have like a little fire thing. So I assume that means you've got a knack. Medi, I gotta put, I gotta get you on, on more stuff. Okay, everybody can do at least something. Or everything can be done by at least one person, so that's good. <sighs> you upset again? Because you saw the body? Yep. Content's nothing. Bullshit. We can totally deconstruct that. We're not going to focus on that right now, though. I'm sure there's plenty of salvage, because we could also, like, salvage a lot of this stuff, but that is not priority right now. Priority is stabilizing my colony. <laughs> can you call two people a colony? I guess. When does it stop being a colony? Or when does it start being a colony? These are the these are the the questions of the universe. All right, Tony shearing Mac. That's good. We'll have wool. Do I have? I mean, I I already said I had every everybody on something, but okay, I have them both on tailoring. They they both uh have little fire doodads. Dude, Tony! Uh, level A of relevant skills. Dude, Medi! Why didn't I have these guys on tailoring before? Dude. These guys are killing it. Hanging out inside kill box. Hmm. 
Hey, they got stuff to trade. Hey, Tony. See what see what Bradley has. That's a trade. Would all of you like to join my colony? That'd be pretty sweet. Okay. I would like more medicine. It's Blake. Flaky white preparation of a psych of psych ice that can be smoked to induce a short, powerful euphoric state. Uh, I don't know if I want to get into drugs just yet, you know? Ooh, y'all want the beer? You can have it. Honestly, some packaged survival meals probably is a good idea. I've never noticed Tony's full name, Antonio. Tony. That tracks. Cephalu. Cephalu? Interesting. Mmm. Components go for a nice amount, huh? I would like the medicine. It's 109. I can give them two components. Get some money back on that. I mean, not a ton, but not nothing. I'll, I, I can sell four. Give us an even 50. Dude. This stuff sells for... Good amount. Do I need the bison wool tribal wear? Well, it might be nice to have on hand, huh? You can have those pants and the poor quality cloth pants. Sure. I think that seems good. Do you mind hauling that, Tony? That would be excellent. Maddie, you're playing billiards. Okay, yeah, you could use recreation. I was thinking about pausing as billiarding for um, cleaning, but you could use it. Your lack suitable weapon? What are you talking about? Medi counts as a hundred? Okay. Um, I have a normal ones of those, but like they're gonna perish. I have the ability to make guns, but like, how do I make guns? Welcome back, Godzilla. A shrimp, rice salad, and French bread. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. I've had a hankering for shrimp lately. tool cabinet do mm -hmm. 
Increase work speed when placed near a workbench. One workbench can use with two tool cabinets. Ooh. That's nice. I mean, 200 steel, that's, that's a pretty penny, but. Hey, Tony, before you, well, you're probably like on the walk, huh? That's fine. Maddie's gonna go rest. Okay. Okay, it's only like one degree colder in one of the rooms, so that's fine. All right, the boys are in bed. Dude, we have so much wool. The visitors from Essler are leaving. Bye. Thanks for trading. Hope you enjoyed that quarter of my house. You gonna research? I think not. I think you're gonna clean this workshop. Both goods traded from Essler relationship. And Kevin from Essler is approaching. They are both goods traders. Hey! Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't notice Lemon Bubbles follow. I'm so sorry, Lemon Bubbles. Thank you for the follow from earlier. And hello, horror. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the resub. 11 months. That's almost a year. Came a bit late. That's fine, dude. Oh, the town guard Sorayo from Essler is Tony's sister. Another sibling of Tony. I wonder if uh, she was also sisters with uh, Smegley and Evans. I wonder if they all share the same parent or not. Anyway, they'll, have the col they'll hang around the colony for some time before leaving. You can attack them, but they will... This will anger their faction. Yes. No, I don't want to talk to the tree. Serrano Builder. Would you like to join our party? Oh. She and Luke and Samantha do not get along. But her and Tony are in... Oh. They did all share a parent. Yikes. Uh, well, Smegly, one of your sisters is here. I'm gonna let them get a little closer than this. Well, although I don't know if they will. Okay, Bradley is who we talked to. Let's go talk to Stomp. I would like to trade with Stomp. Can I do anything? With Serrano. Can I like say hi? Be like, hey sister, what's up? I don't know. Let's see what they have to trade. Maddie's back to researching. I don't know if I might pick that up. Apologies if it did. Hmm. 
decent. They're willing to pay a decent amount for alpacas. Do have nitroamine, which I think is one of the things I need for um, what you call it. Medicine. But most definitely did. What did I say? Stretch. You got it. Stretch, well, I think. You got an interest in pharmacology. Ooh, Harris's study of bacteria might be good. Oh, the cracks. We heard all the cracks. Oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> My other mic doesn't really pick them up, but uh, I guess this one does. Ugh. So here book on bacteria. Quote on the title page says, True series of bacteria cannot ignore her book. The footnote somebody has pasted an excoriating review of the book, the whatever says that. Well, these notes were made for Harris's personal use, they have been widely shared. Despite being a secondhand school book, the pages are decent if slightly scored. Medical 250 XP an hour for a max level of 8. I think, um. Those are both med books. I think Tony is at seven? A dead Robert, this mediocre biography is written from the point of view of a beggar as he fights against the meaninglessness of fellowship. It is interesting and engaging, but many of the story beats are unnecessary and fail to move the plot forward. The book was published recently. Oh, recreation game. Multiplier. 160. Dang. Are these like a one and done, or can people, like. Whatever. Or like, can, can people read them more than once? I don't have a ton of money. I don't. I do have some medicine in storage right now from pilfering, so I think I'm okay. But dude, they're willing to pay $213 for this alpaca. For a lot of alpacas, but... I might be willing to part with that. I'm pretty sure the other one at least hears your back cracks problem. I wouldn't be surprised. So my cracking joints are pretty loud. Let's go ahead and get the study of bacteria, which is a lot, but we can get most of it back if we give them Bronco. I'm also not attached to Kenneth. So we're going to make money from this. An excellent wool robe. Oh, for 483? No, never mind. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. I, I've been in this menu long enough. 
Yeah, tell me about books. Colonists read books for recreation to gain skills, to unlock research, and more. You can see a specific book's effects by selecting it and opening its details tab. To choose what colonists will read, open the assigned tab and configure reading policies. Store books in bookcases to passively enhance intellectual and reading work done nearby and increase the beauty of the bookcase. Bookcases passively increase research speed, uh, XP gained from reading, and recreation gained from reading the same room. Well, sounds like we ought to make a bookcase. I had one, but I think I, uh... Deconstructed it. My brain is stopping. <laughs> Y'all are seeing in real time. I don't know if I need this size bookcase. But like, I think I might as well, huh? Do I want it there? Do I want it here? Do I want it here? I think I want it here. Two hundred mega sloth wool? I mean I have it apparently. Let's just make an armchair. I just feel like it'd be nice, you know? Well, armchair, hang out with Medi while he researches. You have a, a bookcase. I don't want to click this because I don't want to mark it as learned yet because I want to make sure I. Get the book where it needs to go. What's that? Oh, go juice. Uh, let me double check Tony's. Yeah, medical seven. So it'd be cool if we get him up to eight. Okay, and there's in the assign tab. Reading policy. I mean, yeah, you can do anything. Manage reading policies. Yeah, I'm I, sure that's fine. I'm not sure why I wouldn't do that. I'm going to your Mac. That's fine. We're we're gonna need to replenish alpaca wool after after that. Okay, we have 200 mega wool, 140 alpaca wool, so. And the armchair is 110 alpaca. And Maddie, when you're done researching. Nope. I'm gonna have you work on the bookcase. Oh, nice. Fire foam is done. Uh, do that first. Okay, so, how do I put that book in here then? Paco! Oh, I hate that, I hate that so much. I had a soft spot for Paco. Um, right, book. Um, do you just like put it down somewhere? Do you just leave it? You might have just left it over there, honestly. Where did that trade take place? 
Here's the next question. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have you haul that first, and I'll have you read it later. Okay, Medi's gonna go get that wool. Uh, yeah, patch is good and all, but can we make, like, cloth or is that something different? Mmm, I do need a machining table for sure. Maybe if I want like one or two squares between them. Let's do one. This is like a little study corner. Which I think is charming. Off the art bench. No. Eh, I'll just leave that as like a standing bill. I just do it once whenever any of y'all feel like it. Just go nuts. I know I'm sad about it. I need to research project, right? That's not what I meant to it. Um, research. No, I need microelectronics first. Okay. Whew, Jesus. Work with complex microelectronics to unlock the high tech research branch and comms console. Which is a lot of stuff, but you know, I think I like the idea of having access to medicine production of higher, higher rank medicine. Ooh, or you know, I could move, cancel. I could put something there and then I could maybe do a couch there or something. I just don't want it to feel too squishy, you know? What am I looking for? Production. Yeah, I think I want it there. What do you need? So your mood's low. You're just in a bad mood, and understandably so. I get it. Honestly, the low expectations are saving us. <laughs> How many are you shearing now? Everybody's into shearing right now. Animals can't be trained continuously. They need time between training sessions. It's fine. Yeah, I haven't really looked into training. Which I don't think anybody can do right now. <laughs> Might be able to train. No. Okay. I just type cloth? Okay. <laughs> Not that easy. Yeah, how do I get 
Red cloth. I feel like a tailor bench should have the power to make cloth, but does not appear to be the case. Unless I'm being blind, which is entirely possible. Our workshop is slightly impressive though, according to this little thing down here. Oh, I could put a tool cabinet between those. Camel hide, huh? I think when, t when Medi goes to bed, I think I'm gonna call it there. So I am having a good time, but I am incredibly tired and you are all experiencing, you, you are seeing firsthand my cognitive functioning deteriorating at a rapid rate for the evening. So I think, I think this will probably be where I call it tonight. Again, once, uh, oh, the tray cat caravan from Esler's leaving, bye. Okay, all right. I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna save. We're going to quit to main menu. And we are going to call it a stream. Thank you all very much for coming. That was a roller coaster. Um. I gotta process everything that happened to my four colonists. We lost half of our colony. We're down to two. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see, we'll see how this all shakes out. But thank you all very much for watching. This is my schedule. I'm putting in chat. That is my schedule. Uh, so I will be live next with my brother on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. EST on his channel, R underscore Azure, where we're playing Dave the Diver. So come check us out there. Uh, but if you miss me in the meantime, feel free to check out my VOD channel. Right there. It's just like I upload the unedited VODs of these streams and put them in playlists. They go up like a three days or something after after I do the stream. But yes, thank you all very, very much for coming. I appreciate y'all and I'll catch you next time. Good night.